Okay, so I'm out in the, well, at the edge of the woods, not really in the woods, but I came out to take a look at my blind, see what I had to fix for this year, and I figured I might as well bring an MRE with me for lunch, and we'll, we'll do a little review here. Uh, this is Lithuanian menu number nine, which translates to stewed pork with pearl barley something. Uh, anyway. Break her open, see what we get. A little accessory pack. We'll get into that in a minute. That must be the main entree. That's the heater. Uh, okay, I guess that's the accessory pack. <coughs> Crackers. Okay, so that's interesting. This actually is in, looks like three different languages. These are almonds. Uh, Rusks, SU1, I don't know. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so this is a kind of an interesting kit because you get a flameless ration heater, which uh, this is not to be eaten. I'm not, I don't know a whole lot about these, but uh, this one has got English on it as well. I don't know. It's got a little sticker that says open right there. I don't see any words where it says made in. But, uh, dispose tidily. Please do not litter. Caution. Attention. So, this has got French and English on it. Individual flameless ration heater. So, I don't know, maybe it's made in France or something. It's not unusual for these kits to be made out of from products from several different places. So I'm not gonna use this today because well so this goes with these little fuel tablets here. Yeah, you bend one set up and one set down. There's lots of videos showing these. I may use this at some point. But uh, for now, set that aside. Okay, so you get a little piece of paper here. Directions for youth. Uh, see, it's your thorny bag, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We don't really need that. So I'll put those back in the bag. One of my little accessory kits here. So comes with spoon, kind of a square ridge, pretty flimsy looking thing, but anyway. I'm gonna use it once. These are the fuel tabs that go with that little ration heater. Ingredients, aqua, alcohol, dente. Okay, so that's um, that's a cleaning wipe. Wet wet, wet wet, wet nap. I don't know if those are waterproof matches or not. It doesn't feel like it. Doesn't look like there's a wax coating on them, but matches. Tie wrap, tie wrap to tie the bag up when you're done with it. <clears throat> okay, so the other little one here, it's got all the food items in it. And it also has a little piece of paper. Uh, okay, so this isn't just for this, this is for everything. Because it has, okay. 
So it tells you number one is something in whatever language, and then after is English. Stewed pork with pearl barley. It's like porch. I don't know what that word is. Anyway, and how oh, the grams and all that. So, uh, sugar. Judging by the fact it says sugar. Okay, cherry flavored instant drink with vitamin C without sweetener. So, that's a sports drink of some sort. Ah. We have. Ingredient salt, dextrose sugar, whey protein, different portions of dried vegetable carrot. Okay, so that must go in that for seasoning. My stuff keeps blowing away here. Get rid of that. We have marmalade or jam or something. 30 grams of it. And chocolate bar. Look, there's two of them in there. Alright, so let's get this flameless water or flameless ration heater on the go. So, okay. Is insert meal, add 60 milliliters of water to sleeve. Uh, yeah, fold it up and see what happens. Okay, so tear along, tear line. Okay. that garbage. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what that little tab's there for. Not to tell you how to open it, it's to help you open the damn thing. So we're going to stick that in there. Now we're going to add our water. Okay, so that's up to the fill line. Ooh, that's hot. So the little heater's working. You see it's actually boiling the water. It's blowing that bag up. So... Ouch! Ouch! See the steam rolling out of that thing. Yeah. Ah. All right. Well, that one's certainly not a dud. All right. Uh, I'll let that go for a little bit. We will try and make some. We'll do this juice crystals. Uh, it says without sweetener, 30 grams. Now it doesn't actually. Well, let me tell you how much water to mix it with, but not in English. Anyway, I got this. This is a 500 mil. I just took 60 out of it, but... Okay, so there's those juice crystals. It looks like Kool-Aid and sugar both in the same package or something. Okay, so of course I used my cover to prop this thing up. Water. Give this a shake. Okay, so there's the cherry drink mix. Well,
Yeah. Tastes like cherry tang, which I'm not a big fan of, but some people like it. Well, let that keep heating up. We'll try out this jam. See if we can determine what flavor it is. That's really good. Tastes like uh, maybe plum. Yeah, plum or prune or some sort. Well, those are interesting. They actually bend a little bit just before they break. I don't know if they're stale or... Huh. Strange thing. Well, the jelly is a lot better than the crackers. Not bad though. I don't know what this one is. This is the one that maybe, <coughs> excuse me, maybe seasoning or something. Oh, yeah, that's um. Oh wow. <coughs> oh, it's salty. That's cup of soup. That's what that is. Well, it's about 30 degrees out here right now, so I don't think I need a cup of soup. I'll save that for later. Wow, that thing's hot. Okay. Uh, let's try a chocolate bar while we're waiting for a main course. I'm sure it's hot by now because that thing is smoking hot. Oh, yeah. So, it looks like it's milk chocolate, not dark chocolate, and it's so hot out here it's melting together. Mmm, that's good. It's good stuff. Okay. So, Put this aside for now. Let's get into this main course. Now, wow, that's hot. That was one hell of a ration here. Oh, ow, ouch. definitely one. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna cut this box off too, so I can handle holding on to the thing. My previous experience with these is pretty much limited to the Canadian ones. Got a few of those when I think that. So this bag cooled off pretty much instantly when you take it off. The contents. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> kind of looks like dog food. I'll give her a little taste here. Um, that's pretty good. That's really good, actually. Yeah, no complaints about that. <clears throat> oh man, that's so hot. Okay, so... I'm gonna cram my garbage in here. I guess that's it for the review. So, I give this one a big thumbs up. That's pretty tasty. Uh, that's the Lithuanian number nine stewed pork with pearl barley porridge. I guess. Um, yeah, so I didn't use the sugar. I didn't actually, you know what I didn't see? I didn't see any um, hot beverage things.
Yeah, so no no coffee, no gum, no tea. Oh, I forget about this. Let's try these before we go. And so those are the almonds. They're, um... Not bad. They're not quite as country, crunchy as the black fresh ones, but they're still pretty good. So, yeah, I got sugar. But no coffee or tea. That's kind of weird. Well, maybe it got left out or something. I don't know. Anyways, that's my review on the number 9 Lithuanian ration. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe. I've got <clears throat> 10 Americans on the way. Two Chinese and a Korean one. The Korean one is kind of, it's not really a military ration, it's just kind of like the outdoor emergency food one. But uh, look, that thing is still steaming. Anyway, so there'll be a few more of these coming down the pipeline and uh, hope you like them. So thanks a lot.